July 16th of 2021, to be exact, is when Tesla is estimating the first deliveries off the line from the Giga Berlin factory should be rolling out to customers. So a lot of people have some doubts about that. It seems like it's too soon, or how is this going to happen when there's still no building, there's still even no foundation yet? Well, huge props to GIA4 on Twitter because they have been keeping everyone up to date on Giga Berlin, both steps that are going through in the legislative process and the actual hard work going on at the grounds, which wasn't that long ago it was a big empty artificial forest because Giga Berlin was initially tweeted out by Elon Musk in November of last year so that's coming up on six seven months ago now and a lot of people were mad at first because initially they thought you're cutting down an entire forest just so you can build electric cars that seems hypocritical right if you're pro environment how can you be tearing it down at the same time well keep in mind this was also an artificial forest that was grown by man because they were going to harvest the trees and use them for lumber but the company that planted these trees had no more intentions of using them so all the trees were basically sitting there and tesla has also committed to planting three trees for everyone that got cut down so don't worry about that i think that in the long term this is going to be better for the environment than the man-made forest was and in the last six months construction crews have been working very very hard at rescaping this land to be prepared for giga berlin to go up and may i remind you like giga shanghai once the foundation is laid and once construction crews are there and working on bringing up this building, things can move very, very quickly. So we're in the process right now of basically getting ready for everything to start going up fast. So they have cut down all the trees, they've leveled the ground, made sure the soil is up to code. And a lot of people think, well, you know, Giga Shanghai, that went up very, very quickly. So Giga Berlin, that's probably going to get stuck with legislative and permits and paperwork. And there's going to be a whole things that delay Giga Berlin, right? Well, not so fast, because if you compare the timelines of things that have to happen in order for a Giga Factory to be built, and we compare the timelines of what it was for Giga Shanghai versus what it was for Giga Berlin, Giga Berlin is not off schedule at all. They're still on track to start deliveries in July of next year. So shout out to Tobias for showing us this timeline, but you'll notice that the land transaction has actually happened for Giga Berlin earlier than it did for Giga Shanghai. Now, that does not necessarily mean that Giga Berlin is going to be opening faster than Giga Shanghai, it just means that they got through a lot of the paperwork and the land ownership transfer was done much faster but construction crews could operate very differently obviously it's not the same construction company that they had in giga shanghai so it could end up being slower and also it's a different facility so things are going to be built a little bit more oriented for things like the new paint shop which elon musk has alluded to so the paint shop that's going to be implemented in giga berlin is completely different from the paint shop that we had in tesla fremont so if you had concerns about tesla paint quality and you saw some videos on that i know i've seen a few about how the paint work can be kind of spotty on Tesla's vehicles so Tesla is revamping that and it sounds like Giga Berlin is going to be getting that first so there's a lot of you guys in Europe that are looking forward to the Model Y coming out the Model Y that comes out for you guys is probably going to be a lot better than the one that comes out here so you know you have to wait a little bit longer but I think in the end it'll be worth it so they're going to be building all kinds of stuff at this factory though of course this is going to be rocking batteries powertrains and they're starting with the Model Y but eventually they'll probably start building the Model 3 as well and I think why Giga Berlin matters matters so much to those of you thinking who cares this benefits everyone because the less cars that they have to make at Fremont themselves that means they can free up those assembly lines for deliveries and profit margins in the United States now that they have a factory in Asia they don't have to ship so many things overseas and that brings their operating costs down it also brings the end price down for the consumer so Tesla's in Europe are a lot more expensive than they are in the US because you have to have them imported they're all built in California still and you have to ship them across the entire country and and then across the entire Atlantic Ocean. So that adds a lot to the end price that the consumer has to pay for. So if you're just building them in Central Europe and shipping them around to those different countries, they can save a lot of money that way and they don't have to worry about import tariffs. And that means that vehicles can get cheaper for Europe and that also Tesla doesn't have to rely so much on profit margins in the US. So that results in vehicle prices as a whole going down and profit margins still being good for Tesla. And the fact that we're almost a year away from Giga Berlin being operated and actually having vehicles drive off the assembly line and into the hands of consumers, that's really exciting. And currently, if you're wondering what they're doing exactly at this moment, they're basically building the roads that are going to be used by the construction vehicles that are going to start laying the foundation. Tesla has applied for these permits, and if it's anything like the rollout of Giga Shanghai, the groundbreaking could happen as early as the end of this month. So that'll be a big step forward once construction on the new facilities officially start. But train loads of gravel are being delivered 
to this construction site currently so that they can lay out these roads, which will probably still be there even when the factories are built, just so that people can drive from different parts of the facility. But just one of the very, very many things that has to happen for Giga Berlin for it to become operational, but I just figured we hadn't talked about it in a while, so it made sense to keep you guys up to date on the fact that, yes, it is on schedule, it is on track to still launch and be operational by July of next year, and that's going to benefit everyone. So let me know what you're most excited for in Giga Berlin or what other locations you think makes sense for Tesla Giga Factories by hitting me up over on Twitter, join my Discord, we can chat more about it there. Thank you guys for watching, hope you have an excellent rest of your day. Take care.